This is Green Tech Media's Five Questions, the 2014 Solar Summit Edition. I'm Stephen Lacey, Senior Editor with Green Tech Media, and we're in Phoenix, Arizona at the Solar Summit, and we are talking with industry executives about what they see happening in their area of the market. I'm joined now by Ben Macias. He's the Vice President of Global Sales at Shoals Technologies Group. Ben, how are you? Good, good. So let's talk a little bit about uh, what you see happening in the market. First of all, solar module prices. We see them starting to stabilize. What do you see happening with manufacturers in 2014? You know what, I think that the uh, price pressures will continue. Um, they start at the modules. Uh, that's pretty much bottomed out and module prices are going up. So the most, most of the focus now is on the electrical balance of systems and the structural balance of systems, so the racking. And, and when we talk about electrical balance of systems, we're talking about the combiner boxes, the wire harnesses, all the DC cables, essentially. And I think that the price pressures will continue. So we, as manufacturers, had to figure out a way to provide the customer with the same type of quality of the product that we've done for many years and not affect any type of margins. Um, so how we do that is we optimize fields, system fields for our, all of our customers where they're getting the same output for half of the materials that they need, and it allows us to provide the customer probably an even better solution than what they're currently getting, um, allowing for them to install the field at a faster rate and you know, same output, essentially. So that's where we're heading. Well, what about big markets for you in 2014? Do you have any specific geographic areas or project types that are more interesting to you? Yeah, yeah. So uh, the United States is obviously one of our hottest markets. Um, it's one that we have a pretty good share of, and where we, where we see us going in the future and currently right now is uh, the, the Asia market and MENA. Uh, those two areas are very hot for us. It took us quite a bit of time to crack the Japanese market in particular, uh, China, China as well. So now that we've done the groundwork for those two countries specifically, um, you know, we are now shipping product from the United States into Asia, Japan, and China. So. It's kind of one of the rare things where you get to see a U.S. company shipping to China. It's kind of the reverse, which makes it pretty fun and interesting. But as far as the MENA area, I'm Saudi Arabia, you know, UAE, those are some hot areas for us. And there's plenty of sun for over there, so it's, it's good for us. In terms of technology advantage, when you look at how you stack up against other BOS players, what do you think makes you stand out? Um, you know what, I, I think the biggest thing that we have the advantage of is being able to provide the, the customer not just one product where it's a, a commoditized product. We essentially can make everything from the back of the glass, the junction boxes for the, for the module manufacturers, um, and then go all the way to the inverters. So we like to tell everybody we manufacture everything from the back of the glass all the way up into the inverter skid, almost to the point where we're now being able to, we're able to tell our customers we can provide Everything in the middle, you bring the module and the inverter, we'll do the rest. So I think to be able to offer a solution and m multiple products and just essentially, I, just, I like to say, you get to choke one throat now instead of 20. Um, that's where we're at right now and I, a lot of customers see a ton of value in that. A lot of people skeptical about the money to be made in manufacturing. What would you say if someone said manufacturing is a losing game? I would have to disagree with them 100%. I think there's so much opportunity out there. And, and like I said previously, if you can optimize your solution and not take any of the quality of the product out and um, you know, keep the margins the same, I think there's only nothing but you know, opportunity for all the manufacturers out there. You have to, you have to think outside the box now. We, we're, at, we're at a point right now where essentially we've pretty much taken all the margins down to, where, to rock bottom. So now we gotta figure out a way to bring them back up. And the only way you can do that is to optimize. So solution optimization is something that we, we are you know, experts in. So if you wanted folks in the industry to take away one thing from your experience in the BOS sector, what would it be? As far as making solar more economical for everybody, um, I would say we have to look at things differently. And I would have to go back to just being able to optimize systems, doing things differently than what you're accustomed to. Uh, everyone doesn't like change, but in order to make solar more economical and to put more out there and get to that grid parity, what everybody likes to hear. Um, I think it's important to kind of put our heads together, see how we, think we can do things differently. And the only way you can do that without taking out quality and you know, bringing down the prices through optimization. So I think that's where we're heading.